who had the idea to go to, to enter the UK national final for Eurovision? Um, well, me and, me and Joe, we both met on uh, The Voice Series 4 uh, about, about 14, 15 months ago. Yeah. And, um, you know, we both decided to join forces after after the uh, show, which is which is quite ironic, actually, because the theme of this year has come together, yeah, which is exactly what we did. <laughs> yeah. You know, so uh, we've been working on that ever since. We were looking at ways for us to break as a duo. And the second, you know, th this came up as an option to go in for the You Decide show, we just had to jump all over it. You know, we're fans of Eurovision <coughs> ourselves anyway, so oh, exactly. we, we saw it and exactly. we thought this would be great. And And, you know, we we really wanted to represent the UK, and when when we got that chance given, so as we thought, we've got to go for it. Yeah. Uh, well, the UK is one of the most uh, successful Eurovision countries. Although oh. in the last year, uh, in the last years, it hasn't been so successful. Yeah. Is that uh, extra pressure for you? Yeah, um, definitely. I'd say it's extra pressure. I mean, obviously, yes, no. because we're young at the same time. But at the end of the day, you know, we we've been working so hard. We really want the UK to do well, and and like we said, we're Eurovision fans, so we really want to put everything into this don't we we've Definitely. worked so hard and we we're very happy with our song we just want everyone else to be and um, how do you feel the contact with the I don't know if you are very fam uh, you use a lot of social media Facebook Twitter or social media uh, how do you feel uh, being in contact with fans probably all over the world um, you know social media is great for that isn't it you know there's people from all over the world can just get in touch with you and that's fantastic particularly when they're giving you um, you know feedback on the track or the music video you know it's all really valuable um, and we kind of know which parts to take on board you know yeah, of course. which ones are realistic we're grateful aren't we we're grateful with all the response we've had from all over the world um, everyone's been great with us and we're just really thankful for what, how they've been the positive yeah. words have been saying and we love all the fans that have been great with us did you actually take any suggestion from the fans We, yeah, we have been. I mean, obviously, the fans are yeah, ultimately. Probably. Yeah, yeah the, the fans are the people that follow us, and you know, they're the people we want to make happy, aren't they? Definitely. So. And you know, they've been following Eurovision for a long time as well. You can tell by some of the things that are said to us. So it is. I mean, they're they're long-standing Eurovision fans. We're you know, they know what Eurovision we can wants to make them happy and proud, aren't we? That's our yeah, aim. Of course, we are. And uh, if you had to define your song with uh, one word or just one, uh, one word or just a very short sentence, you what it. would you say? Anthem. Anthem. I like it. Anthem. That's great. That's what we need in Eurovision. Anthems. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much.